Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, power apps are extensively being used nowadays. A lot of organizations are using it because of the rich set of functionalities and easy to configure uh, artifacts they do offer. So a common requirement I have seen in power apps is like, let's say you have an app that has got various screens. How would you redirect your users to a particular screen based on URL or conditions? OK, for example, you have a screen that shows you a display form of a particular item. So when users actually open the app, how could they directly go over there? Because once you have your users in power apps, you don't want to redirect them to SharePoint or, or any other data source, right? So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Make sure you watch it till the end. So I have a very simple list. List name is address. Three columns I have. Of course, there's one more ID, but I'm not showing it in this view. That's fine. And I have created a power app based on it. This is screen one. This is just a gallery, ordinary gallery ID and those three fields. And uh, this is an icon and it takes you to. Second screen where you see the data. OK, now if I run the app, it's very simple. I can come here. I can if I want to see it in details, I can go. I can add additional fields, whatever. But what if you want users to come directly to this screen? OK, that's what we are going to see. So how I have achieved that I'll show you from scratch. The very first thing you're going to do is to go to the settings for the app. And go to upcoming features, go to retired and enable this enable navigate function on app dot on start. So the when app starts, it can use a navigate function. Now select app and see I have already gone on on start. So I have taken a parameter name EMP ID. It can be anything. It doesn't need to match with these fields. OK, don't worry about that. So what it does is like it checks for the parameter in the URL. Is there any parameter uh, like this? OK. If yes, uh, like oh, there and uh, store its value into this variable. Now it is checking if the variable is blank or not. Because if the variable is bank blank, that means it's not a redirect request. It's a simple uh, app opening request, so it will go to screen one, the first screen. But if it has a uh, variable, what it does is that it is again like this is my data source. OK. It is going to the data source. Filtering it will uh, like it is doing the lookup and that particular. Uh, record where ID matches with this parameter. It is storing it in this variable and then navigating to screen two. OK, fine. Now, in order to make it work, what I have done, see this, this sign takes you to screen two, but before it goes to screen two, what it does that the selected item you have uh, in this gallery, it is storing it in the variable where record. Now, when we go to screen two, so this is a display form, fine. And data source is uh, the same data source that we have here, but the particular item is this variable. OK, so now if you again uh, check here that if you assign a parameter, what it is doing that it is in this during app start itself, it is finding out the record from the data source, assigning it to variable and then redirecting you to screen two so that when you reach to screen two, screen two knows that uh, knows the value for this variable and it shows the data accordingly. Now, if you open the share tab for this app, what you see here is this link. Okay, what you see here is this link. In this link, as you can see, uh, in this, uh, you see there is things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this link. And here I'm going to put Amberson EMP ID. I'll use the same uh, sequence equal to and I will put a parameter. So here, for example, I put that. And then I'll put Amberson EMP ID equal to let's say I took three. OK. Now again, and go to URL and make change it to two. So that's how it works. Now you can embed it in email or anything in your automate and other things and it's going to work like that. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.